This show is produced by the Harwood Podcast Network. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris. We love making this show available to you free of charge. And if you'd like to help us keep it that way, make a contribution to our Karma Jar or become a show sponsor. To learn more, visit our website. Hi, and welcome back to the Bead Workshop. Today we're going to be making this beautiful multi-strand necklace. So let's look at our design. Now here's our design and you can see it's a graduated four strand necklace which is really really pretty when you wear it. And for this design I'm just using two different kinds of beads. I'm using a five millimeter bead and in this case I'm using this really pretty square turquoise bead and then some four millimeter beads and in this case I'm going to be using these great little silver beads. So that's the combination of beads that I'm going to be using on this necklace. Now once you've decided the beads you're going to use, you'll then decide the color findings that you're going to use. And for this, because I'm using silver beads, I'm going to use silver beading wire. Um, I've also got my cone findings. Now this is similar in construction to the bracelet that we did in that we're going to be using these cone findings. So find a couple that you like that are really decorative. I have two eye pins. I have eight crimping beads. Now in this project we are going to be using some chain and as you can see up here I've used this to kind of add length to the necklace because if I'm wearing something and I want the um, necklace to be up high I can cinch it up higher but if I want it to be a little bit lower I can add this little bit of chain. Now this is the way the chain comes at uh, my craft store. It's in a package. It's 48 inches long which is quite a bit of chain. But when you take it out of the package, you can use just as much as you need to for your project. And for this project, I'm going to be using about three inches of chain. And then I have my one lobster clasp and then my beading wire. Now the first thing we're going to do is cut our beading wire and I've listed the lengths here and you can see they're one inch apart. So for example, the, the longest one is 20 and a half and then 19 and a half, 18 and a half and 17 and a half. That's going to give us that graduated length down the front of the necklace that I want. And I've added the half inch to give us some room so that we can slip it through the crimping bead and give it a little crimp. Now I've cut my first strand of wire. This is 20 and a half inches long and I've one of my crimp beads. I'm going to feed that through and then take the end, feed it back through here, pull it up just a little bit so that I have a little bit of a wire tail. I don't need much, just a little bit. And then I'll take my flat nose pliers and I'll just pinch that. And that will work just like that. So that'll be perfect for the end here. And now we're going to start stringing our beads. So if you look at the design, the pattern is four of the four millimeter beads and then one five millimeter bead. And we're going to do that all the way around here. Now remember, if you want, you can either string the beads on individually like this. Or if you want, you can take and lay them out on your board. Now you can see I've laid my beads out here. I always want to make sure to start with four of the four millimeter beads here and then follow with a five millimeter bead until I have a total of 13 of these five millimeter beads. Now I'm going to take the end of my wire, the opposite end of uh, the one with the crimp on it, and then I like to turn my board and then I'm going to just start and string these on. One of the nice things about laying your beads out and then stringing them is you don't have to remember, oh, how many of this did I do? It's all laid out. You just have to go through and string the wire through it. Now I have half of this strung and I'm going to rotate my board and then I'll continue stringing the rest. 
Now this strand is done. Now unlike our multi-strand bracelet, I want these beads to move along this wire. What's most important is that the wire be about 20 inches long from one loop to the next. So now I'm going to measure this. Now the beads are about 11 inches long. I want to make sure this ends up being about 20. This is going to work out just about right because it gives me just about a quarter of an inch here on the end. Now that works out great. So now I'm going to take another one of my crimp beads, feed it through, give myself a nice little loop there, and then I'll pinch that. Trim that little bit of excess and this first strand is ready to go. I'm going to set that to the side. And now I'm going to measure out 19 and a half inches of wire. And once I have the wire cut, I'll put a crimp bead on one end. And now the pattern for this one is going to be three of the four millimeter beads and then one of the five millimeter beads. So I'm going to get that set up on my board. And for this pattern, once it's laid out, we always want to start with the three silver beads and then we'll do 15 of the five millimeter beads. And again, I'll rotate my board and string that up. Now for this one, we want to make sure the strand is about 19 inches long. So that's about 10. And again, we're right on. So I'll take and put a crimp bead on the other end. Make sure to leave a little loop and give that a pinch. And now our second strand is done. Now for the third strand, I've cut an 18 and a half inch wire. I'll put a crimp bead on one end. And for this strand, we're going back to having the four, um, four millimeter beads and then going with the five millimeter beads. And on this one, we're going to have just nine of the five millimeter beads. So I'm going to set that up. And now that that's set up, I'll go ahead and string it. And now that's strong, we want to make sure that we have about 18 inches. And we do. So I'll put a crimp bead on that end. And for this last strand, I've put the crimp bead on. And the design for this one is three of the four millimeter beads right here. And then we're going to do nine of the five millimeter beads. Check to make sure we have about 17 inches. We do. And I'll put the last crimp bead on. Now I've laid out my strands here next to me. This is the shortest one, the 17 inch, 18 inch, 19 inch, and 20 inch. Now we're going to connect our strands and we're going to use a similar technique in the one we used for our multi-strand bracelet. So I've got one of my eye pins here. I'm going to open that up just a little bit. And then I'm going to hook on first my 17 then my 18, my 19, and then my 20 inch strand. And then I'm going to take and close that back up. And I'll let that sit right there. And I'm going to do the same thing with my second eye pin on the second side of the strand. And by holding your necklace up, you can start to see how it's going to lay on your neck. I'm going to put this back down for a second. And now we're going to take our eye pin and we're going to thread it through our cone finding and see that covers up all of our little um, loops here on the end with our crimp beads. Just great. And I'll snip that off and we're going to make one of our wire loops. And it should end up looking just like this. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So now our strands are totally fixed and in place. 
And now we're going to add on our little bit of chain. So I'm going to measure about three inches of chain. And I'll cut that. And now we're going to take our chain. I'll loosen up my wire loop just a teeny bit and thread that on. And then I'll close it back up. So we've got our chain and you can see here um, we'll actually be able to use the loop of our chain here as the clasp to our finding. If you don't have a big enough chain, you can add a jump ring there, but then we do need to add our little clasp on the other side. So I'm going to come over, open up my wire ring just a teeny bit and string my clasp on. And close that up real good. So with this necklace, you can either take the um, clasp and hook it on to the very end of the chain if you need it to be longer, or you can cinch it up to make it a little bit more choker-like. Well, if you'd like to try making this multi-strand necklace at home, just go to our website and go to the Bead Workshop show notes, and I'll have the design there with the supply list for you. If you do make it, don't forget to send me a photo so that I can send you the necklace badge. Make sure to join us on Facebook. That's where I had to do all my vlogging. And as always, if you have any questions or ideas for me, please send me an email. I'll see you next time.